Okay. So, Carla, for yeah. your sound check, did we micro yeah. yeah. So say and spell your first and last name. C-A-R-L-A, -A, Carla, D-A-V-I-S, Davis. And um, so, Carla, you have a pretty well-known brother, and he's slightly older than you. So talk to us about growing up and what it was like when he left home and some of your childhood memories. Okay. Stanley and I were both born in the same house, though 13 years apart, and he left home when I was three. And he went to New York, and he was in, on Broadway two weeks after he went to New York. He was 16. And he was in four shows on Broadway, and then he went to L.A., where he was a choreographer, and then uh, assistant director, and then a director, and he did Singing in the Rain before he was 30, and several other of his wonderful musicals. He was really the director of the golden age of musicals. He really was. Right. And being the little sister back in South Carolina, how much of that did he share with you? And well, it added just a little bit of glamour to my life. I have six children, that kept me pretty tied up, but I got to go to New York a lot and to Stanley in L.A. and see the stars and find out they were just like the rest of us. That's right. All, all nice people. We and all put our pants, pants on, on one leg, leg at a time. <laughs> <laughs> right. and so, did you know at the time, um, Carla, that Singing in the Rain was going to be that kind of a hit? No, and I don't think Stanley knew it either. I think he didn't really feel like that was the best movie he made. I think he probably felt like Funny Face with Fred Astaire and Audrey Hepburn. He and Audrey did several things together, and they were real tight friends. And she was wonderful, just a wonderful person. And uh, then he did a lot of things with Gene Kelly. They collaborated, and he was a good friend. And I remember one time that <laughs> I was six and they put me in a hotel room and they said, you can stay here till you get the rhythm. And I have a feeling we'd still be there if they <laughs> wait, <laughs> waited for me. But we had a great life growing up in Columbia. And Stanley remembers little of it because when you leave it, he was anxious to get to New York. He studied in New York every summer. My mother took him to New York to study dance. So he had a few little help there, not just, you know, totally unfamiliar with New York when he went. It was hard to come back to the to South Carolina. Well, he really didn't come back except to visit. So he never lived here after he left. He lived in New York, he lived in L.A., he lived in Paris, he lived in London. And now he's back in New York. And so maybe he'll come back to South Carolina next. He's on that <laughs> tour, who knows? Right. And do you all keep in good touch? We do. We keep in touch. Not, you know, not every day or, or that way that you would, but we keep in touch. I know what's going on with him. He knows what's going on with me and my children. And does he know we're going to kind of celebrate a festival? He does. He does. He's sorry he doesn't travel. Yeah. And It's harder and harder to travel. It's no fun. It anymore. is. Travel is not it's exactly not like it used to be. No. no. It's not glamorous enough. No. But you're going to help um, represent the family and re represent his side of the family? On I the hope so. Uh, that's what I plan to do. I'm proud of Stanley. He's really had a wonderful career and wonderful movies. So I'm happy to be able to be a part of this. Well, we all love celebrating what he created. He gave the world an incredible gift. Thank you. Thank you. I think so. I think that's, that's good. good. All right, great it's job. a really great shot of you, too. Oh, yeah. boy. Not, uh, you must be a good camera person. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's me. She I think so. <laughs>